Hey everybody, welcome to another video review, Hanayama Solution and Review. Um, I spent a little bit of time preparing for this one uh, to give it sort of the time uh, this puzzle deserves. This is the Hanayama Vortex, the legendary Vortex, okay? It is a level six uh, out of six on the Hanayama Japanese uh, site. And then for some uh, inexplicable reason, it was designated a five out of six on the, um, you know, the, what is it, English, US, the be puzzled version, whatever you may call it. Um, but let me tell you, this, this is a level six, okay? It's one of the uh, more challenging puzzles in the entire line. Uh, and there are a couple of uh, solutions on YouTube and you know, I think a bit more can be done with it uh, because this is a extraordinarily complicated puzzle to actually solve and to describe. And um, the existing solutions on YouTube are all a little bit lacking in different ways. Um, and so I'm hoping to sort of again, give it my treatment, long, detailed, so hopefully anybody can eventually um, go through and figure it out. It's a gorgeous puzzle, um, very, very uh, clean. Um, you know, it's obvious why they call it the vortex. It looks like a vortex swirling around the center. I don't know the material, whether it's stainless steel uh, or not, but very shiny, very reflective. This kind of contributes to the challenge, of course, because they all look so similar. And then when you're starting to untangle, you kind of get mixed up. Um, about where you are and you know what stage of the um, assembly or disassembly you're at, but it, it's a gorgeous, uh, a gorgeous, gorgeous puzzle, and one of I think one of the the best in the entire line, one of the crown jewels of the Hanayama puzzle line. Um, so definitely you know worth the investment. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about. The, the solution here, you can uh, stop looking if you don't want any spoilers. I do warn you that um, I feel like this is a solution. I mean, even if you go on YouTube, it, it can be very difficult, even on YouTube, to follow through, okay? Um, a lot of times it requires you to go play the same thing over and over again, to freeze frame, to you know go backwards. So I'm, I'm gonna try to do it so you don't have to do that. Um, I'm gonna go real slow and hopefully give you some pointers on uh, what to do. Okay, so let's begin. Here it goes. This is the vortex. It is composed of uh, three interlocking pieces that are cunningly made to go together. And um, you can analyze it from the front and also the back, okay? And let's begin by looking at the front. You will see that each piece has a small loop, which then widens into a large uh, semicircular tail. So it's hard to appreciate from the front side, and by design, it's hard to appreciate where one uh, ends and the other begins. It all looks to be just sort of completely swirled together. It's a beautiful optical illusion, actually, okay? It looks like it's all completely intertwined uh, in almost like a, a, a beautiful knot. Uh, but from the back, hopefully you can appreciate things a little bit better. So you can see, for instance, if we follow this piece, there's this, the loop right here, and then it goes out uh, to this large tail over here, okay? Um, so essentially, it looks like a loop and then a large tail. So I'm gonna call, uh, or I'm gonna describe the pieces and we're going to describe them with the loop which is the small circle the small loop the large tail at the end and then they each have knobs and uh, notches that's going to help us disassemble and each piece while looking very vaguely similar are actually quite different in terms of where the notches are where the knobs are etc okay but each of them has the same small loop which then widens out into the tail. Okay, so um, an overview. In order to do this 
puzzle correctly, you're going to need to change orientation often from the front to the back, from the side, you're gonna to have to grip different pieces. And I think um, YouTube videos, I try to show you how to do this from just predominantly one view or one angle uh, is doing you a tremendous disservice because the puzzle is not really meant uh, to be handled in that way. And if you do that, you're gonna have a real hard time following where one ends, where one begins and things like that, okay? So number one, be prepared for that. Uh, I am going to show you how to orient yourself constantly throughout the solution of this puzzle. So that's number one. Number two, um, you are gonna notice that each piece has a engraving on it. One piece has Hanayama engraved on it. The other piece has AY engraved on it. AY is the initial of Akio Yamamoto, who was the mad genius from hell who designed this puzzle. And then of course, the third piece is engraved with the name of the puzzle called Vortex. And this is critical because um, this will allow you to orient yourself as you're breaking it apart and putting it together about where you need to concentrate your attentions and where each piece goes. Okay, you're gonna be using this or I'm gonna be using this throughout the entire solution video. So pay special attention to these engravings. They are a huge uh, asset in terms of um, you know getting this done. And finally, in terms of the overall goals of what you're trying to do, the bottom line is that this puzzle exists because each of the tiny loops, each of the three loops are intertwined and each of the tails, the long tails, at the end of the loops are intertwined. And so the goal of the puzzle is to first extricate the three loops so that nothing is in those loops. And then the second is to, to extricate and separate the tails whereby you are then uh, disentangle the puzzle. That's the goal, okay? So how are we going to, um, uh, how are we going to achieve this? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down, okay? And then I am going to take the large outer rings, the tails I'm gonna lift up just like this. And if you lift up, you know, it will fall down, by the way, if you just let it fall. So, you know, it's very organic. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to lift it up and you're gonna create this situation. It's gonna be look kind of confusing. And then the first thing we're gonna do is after we lift it up, we're gonna turn it upside down. And this is gonna look like a mess. Okay, but don't be fooled by it. If you jiggle a little bit, you will usually pretty easily return to the original vortex configuration, okay? So again, close up, we're going to lift the outer tails. There's three of them, three outer tails, right? We're going to lift them up until they're essentially touching, and then we're going to turn them upside down. Once upside down, you are going to look for the vortex piece. The engraving is engraved on the undersurface of the small loop. Hopefully now you can begin to see the small loop right here, okay? This is a loop. So for instance here, this is the vortex. So we're already there, okay? Orient yourself so that you can actually see the vortex. This is the small loop of the vortex. And as you can see, there is something in that loop. So there's something in the small loop. And our job is to remove this something from this loop. In case you're curious, if you want to look around, this piece is actually the Hanayama piece. And what's going through the small loop or the loop of the vortex is the, um, the Hanayama piece as it begins to elongate into the tail here. You see the tail? All the way through, you can see it's going through. So uh, let us get rid of, let us move this um, Hanayama piece out of the vortex loop. Now, to do this, if you just try to shove it aside, uh, you're gonna get stuck because there's a, a knob right here. And this knob belongs to the AY piece. Uh, see the small loop of the AY loop as it comes out to the tail, there's a knob on this tail. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> So there's a knob on this tail, and the knob is obviously uh, preventing 
the Hanayama piece from exiting the vortex loop. Now, if you do this sometimes, you may actually, there's enough give in the piece that this may actually already have solved itself and um, the Hanayama piece may simply have fallen out. If that's the case, then good for you. Um, your first move, so to speak, is an easy one. But most likely, if you just simply raise it a little bit, um, you're gonna have this configuration. You have the vortex loop, the Hanayama piece in the loop, and then you're gonna have this little knob um, on top of the Hanayama piece. This knob is preventing the Hanayama piece from leaving the loop. So what you do is you jiggle a little bit, you loosen a little bit, and then you move the knob underneath the Hanayama piece. And with this knob out of the way, you should then with very little difficulty be able to just simply um, pull the Hanayama piece out of the loop, okay? Um, there's a little notch, by the way, on the uh, Hanayama piece, but you don't really need the, to use the notch. Uh, it just slides right out, okay? So when it does that, um, you can drop, and now all of a sudden you have the, uh, the AY and the Hanayama pieces still sort of entwined together and they're hanging off of the tail of the vortex. So now this is our first opportunity to examine one of the pieces, namely the vortex piece. They all are gonna look kind of like this. So these two look just like this, except now you can see they're hanging here. How do we get to this position? We just basically removed the, the Hanayama body out of the loop of the vortex. So you can see that every piece has a small loop. So we're gonna call this the loop. And then from here all the way out, you can see I call this the long tail. So it's a loop connected to a tail. And all along, you can see that there's these little uh, knobs here and here and here and here. And they're there both as a, uh, as a help and as a hindrance, okay? So hopefully uh, you saw me do the move and now it's just sort of hanging out like this. Okay, so now uh, the vortex is pretty nicely done. As you can see, there's nothing in the loop. We have removed the Hanayama from the vortex loop. And now the goal is to repeat this process with both the AY piece and the Hanayama piece itself. So the next order of business is to uh, take out the vortex tail from the AY loop, okay? Just like we took out the Hanayama tail from the vortex loop, it's now time to take out the vortex tail from the um, AY loop. And of course we can see the tail right here of the vortex, right? Vortex piece. So we need to find the AY. Um, since I've done this puzzle literally dozens of times, I know where the AY piece is, but you know, it's okay for you to kind of look around and check very carefully. But um, just to let you know, uh, this here is the actual AY piece. I'll prove it to you. You can follow the loop all the way along to up to here. And if you turn around, you can see, or you should be able to see, Sorry, the reflection here. Ah, do you see the AY right here, see? Uh, right there is the AY. Okay, so this is the loop of the AY. So what you do is you, um, you grab the AY tail and your order of business is to remove the vortex tail from the loop of AY. Now, this is complicated because the loop of AY is also somewhat connected to the Hanayama loop, okay? So this is the Hanayama piece. Again, you can see the engraving Hanayama. And so the Hanayama and the AY are sort of entangled like this, okay? And then you also have the tail of the vortex sort of just hanging out here. And the idea is you gotta get rid of the, you're gonna move this tail out. This will be the first crux of the puzzle, the first hard part of the puzzle. Now, how you're gonna get it out is there is a there's a depression here. There's a groove right here on the tail of the vortex piece. And you have to position this groove right here, and then you have to swing the vortex piece, sort of swing it out of the loop, okay? Now, it's easier said than done because in order for you to have the room to swing, you have to manipulate the Hanayama and the AY to create enough space to be create enough of a gap for this uh, vortex to swing out. Okay, so let me demonstrate. If you take the Hanayama, you begin to rotate the Hanayama, say clockwise, 
that's a mistake because if you rotate the Hanayama clockwise, as you can see, the Hanayama is going to close off the gap and you need that gap to be open in order to move out the vortex tail, right? But if you rotate it too much counterclockwise, um, you will then close the gap the other way. So you want to wriggle the Hanayama piece counterclockwise to create the largest gap. And this is the gap right here. You want to create the largest gap uh, for the vortex tail with a notch to slip out. So it does take some jiggling. Um, and usually I, I hold the AOI steady and then I basically rotate the Hanayama counterclockwise and clockwise until I get what I think is the largest gap uh, I can get. And then when I, and then while trying to maintain the gap with one hand, which believe it or not is, you know, is not that easy to do, while you're maintaining that gap, you then position the vortex and you try to swing it up and out. Okay, so I, I see this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get this vortex piece out and I've succeeded right there. Okay, you can see me, you can see it kind of literally pop. You see that? With this gap that I've created by rotating the Hanayama and the uh, AY, I've created enough of a gap that using this groove on the tail of the vortex, I've slipped it from inside the loop of AY piece, I've slipped it out and now we're out of the AY loop, okay? Hopefully you can appreciate that. The, sorry if I keep banging the camera, I'm really close to it. The tail of the vortex is now completely out of the loop of the AY, okay? What you're seeing here, right here, that's the end of the Hanayama as it curves around. So once this vortex piece is out of this loop, your next order of business, because you have now achieved um, objective number two. This is move number two, right? So objective number two is achieved, which is tail of vortex out of loop of AY. Next, you want to remove the AY piece from the loop of Hanayama, because the loop of Hanayama still has something in it. Okay, so now that you're sure that this piece is out of the loop, and it is, okay? You've gotten it out just like this, right? Just like that, you're out of it, okay? You, this is out of the loop. Now we're going to rotate again. Remember, I was holding this the entire time in this orientation, why? Because this is the tail of the AY. And if you hold that, you can see this is the loop of AY and this is how you can manipulate the vortex out. Once we've achieved this, we're now gonna rotate again and we're gonna find Hanayama, which by the way is right here. We don't have to do too much. It's right next to us, our friendly neighbor, Hanayama, right here. This is the Hanayama piece we've been rotating clockwise and counterclockwise to make the gap down here to slide the vortex tail out in the first place. So Hanayama is right here and all we're gonna do is we're going to rotate it so that we can see the Hanayama, okay? Now in all these machinations, you might have actually created a hard stop or a, a stuck configuration for the AY piece, okay? Um, if that happens, don't worry. All you have to do is just push the AY piece once we're in this configuration where you can see the Hanayama to my upper left. You just have to push the AY up a little bit and it will loosen, okay? So for instance, it is a little bit stuck and then all we gotta do is just take this and wriggle it a little bit and now it's free again, okay? So it was kind of stuck like that. I just took my finger and I just wriggled and pushed up and now it's free. So in this case, the vortex is sort of like the third wheel at this point. It's free, but it's just kind of hanging here and it's sort of in the way. And it's not really, we don't really need this vortex piece for anything. We just needed to get out of the way as we begin to focus on the Hanayama loop. So I hope you can clearly see that this is the Hanayama loop right here. Here's the loop, okay, loop with Hanayama. So here's the loop and you can clearly see that there's a piece of metal in the loop. That piece of metal belongs to the AY, uh, AY piece. And as we'll, what we have been doing so far, we want to get rid of all metal in the loop. Remember that we started off the puzzle with removing the Hanayama tail from the vortex loop. 
and then we'll remove the vortex tail from the AY loop. And now we're gonna remove the AY tail from the Hanayama loop. So how do we do this? Okay. Well, it's a little bit of a mess right here, but I hope you can see. Again, this is the vortex. We let it let it lie here, okay? We don't need the, to mess with the vortex. This here is the AY piece. As you can see, the AY loop is actually in the Hanayama loop. So it's not the tail of AY we have to contend with. It's the loop of AY in the loop of Hanayama. But if you look at the tail of AY, you're gonna see that there's a little indentation here, this little groove. And this is the groove right here that's going to allow us to slip the entire AY piece out of the Hanayama loop. The only problem is the tail is out here and we would need to get this all the way to here where we can slip it out of the loop. So how are we gonna accomplish this? Well, you literally have to rotate the, uh, the AY uh, piece. You have to rotate it in a clockwise fashion uh, so that this groove is where it's supposed to be. And you have to do it through the vortex circle. Okay, so uh, here's how we're gonna do it. We just have to gently jiggle and then one knob is now through, and we're gonna keep on rotating. And you have to rotate two knobs. The first knob, then the second knob has to rotate through the Hanayama loop before you finally get to that groove on the tail of a Y. So the first uh, mission accomplished. And again, if you're stuck, you just have to sort of play with the vortex here a little bit to give yourself the give you need. Okay, so here it goes, jiggle, 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 jiggle. Let's keep moving. I'm trying to get the second knob. Okay, um, second knob through the loop of Hanayama. Okay, again, you want to just sort of be gentle. Okay, so as you can see, the second knob is coming. Come on, baby. Okay, so second knob is out, right? And as we keep jiggling, we are going to finally get to the groove of the tail. We've rotated it all the way around. Now the vortex piece here is still sort of hanging out. We're working around this vortex piece. And now you take the groove. Hopefully you can see the groove. The groove is right here where my fingernail is. You take that groove and then you're able to slide it right out of the loop of Hanayama, okay? Um, so that's a hell of a move. That's, a, that's the third major move. So again, you have to rotate in a clockwise direction. Just keep on rotating and rotating until you get the tail with the groove right in that loop and you can slip it out. So if you do that, you will now see, let's reconnoiter, you will now see that the loop of Hanayama is completely free and the loop of Vortex is completely free and the loop of AY is completely free. In other words, there is now nothing in the loop of either of our three pieces. You have now disentangled all of the loops. However, the tails are another matter, right? The tails are still sort of entwined together. All three tails are still sort of entwined together. So the next part uh, that we need to address is to untangle the tail. Once we untangle the tail, the puzzle will slowly come apart. So in order to untangle the tail, you need to find the vortex piece again. Remember, we started this adventure with the vortex loop. We're now going to go ahead and find that vortex loop again. So this is vortex, okay. So let's hold the vortex loop. And if you just sort of passively shake it, the other two pieces will just sort of naturally fall in this position. If it doesn't, you may have to wriggle a little bit don't force, we don't have to wriggle a little bit in order to get it to this configuration. So here's the vortex, right? And here's the AY and the Hanayama just sort of intertwined by the tail, hanging off of the tail of the vortex. I need you to find the vortex and after you found it, I need you to actually flip it so that you cannot see the vortex. So now the loop is to our left and the tail is on our right, just like this, okay? Again, if you do this, you will see that we have a situation where the two tails, this is the tail of the AY piece, 
and this is the tail of the Hanayama piece, that these two tails are basically crossed, crisscross, okay? So the deep, the deep tail is Hanayama, the tail on the outside is AY, they're crossing each other, and both of them are on the tail of the vortex. And so the next step is to actually get these two tails uncrossed. So again, I hope you can see AY tail, Hanayama tail, they're crossed. They're, it's literally crossing, right? The AY tail is over the Hanayama tail, and you want to actually uh, disentangle these two tails and uncross them. And you have to do this while you're on the tail of the vortex. So how are you going to accomplish this? Uh, well, the first thing is to try to jiggle it until the um, AY tail is no longer over the Hanayama tail. You don't want it over it. You want to jiggle so that it's maybe right alongside it, but not over it. You don't want it going over it. So use the space on the vortex. This is kind of the, where you have the greatest space to manipulate. And now you've done this. You have kind of just, again, you use the vortex loop opening here to futz with the two Hanayama AY tails so that you have this situation. Now take a look at this. Things have changed, right? I've now moved the AY tail from crossing over the Hanayama. I've kind of slid it to the side so that it is no longer crossing the Hanayama tail, but in fact is adjacent to it. And here's the knob of the AY tail. Here's AY right here. You can clearly see the loop and then the tail, right? Not too hard to see. And then this is the loop, the tail of the Hanayama. Once you have this configuration, you want to gently slide the knob of the AY tail underneath the Hanayama tail, as well as continue to move the tail of AY underneath the tail of Hanayama. That's how we're going to separate the two tails, right? So we've created this, and now this is not easy. Um, you want to gently push, and now we've pushed the tail of AY underneath the tail of Hanayama, and then you can slide the tip of that as well. And now look what we have created. We have created now a situation where on the tail of the vortex piece, you now have both the AY piece and the Hanayama, but now the two tails are no longer crisscrossed. They're essentially separate. So I hope you can appreciate that, All right? Separate. Here is the AY, here is the Hanayama. Once you have created this situation where the two, where the AY and the Hanayama pieces are no longer crisscrossed, you can see now that they're all separated essentially. And I can just simply use the gap here and the gap here to disentangle. So what I would do is I would rotate. So you have the gap here and you just basically use the gap to get rid of this piece. And then the same thing, you have a gap right here, right? So let's just rotate it until the gap is in place, and then the gap is here, and then you just simply go gap to gap, it'll slide right up. Oh, hold on a second. Um, okay, yeah, it doesn't like to go like this, you have to turn it over, and then uh, it, will, it will slide off just like that, okay? Okay, so uh, here's the vortex, here's the AY piece, here's the honey owl piece, and that, in 30 minutes, is um, how you completely disassemble the vortex. So you can see that this is an insane looking puzzle. One of the hardest in their lineup. And as you can see, they're all very similar. In fact, I'm actually going to uh, turn, turn them around. So they all, you can see that they all have the same, um, same broad shape. And now you know where I get my designation. You see the little loop? So that's the loop, right? They each got a loop, and then they have this long tail at the end of it. It's all curved, okay? It's, all, it's like basically like a circle. Okay, so now, in order for you to reassemble it, you have to do all the steps that I've gone over uh, just backwards. So if you want a challenge, you can stop the video right now and see if you can retrace uh, what I did. Um, they will have its own this, um, sort of challenges. But you should be able to do it because um, 
I've, I think, really taken my time in showing you what each move is. And so hopefully you'll be able to follow it pretty easily and in your mind you can take it backwards. Okay, so now um, if you've given it a shot and it hasn't worked out so well, now let's do it um, backwards again and create the vortex. So remember that to disassemble the vortex, the first order of business was in disentangling the loops and then disentangling the tails. So to go backwards, we have to re-entangle the tail and then from there on methodically re-entangle the loops. So this is the uh, vortex piece. Take the AY piece. I hope you remembered that um, the AY is the first piece that, um, I'm sorry, the AY piece is the second piece that we took off and so therefore it's the first piece that we put back on. So here you go. And then you just have to turn this upside down. You use the gap to put the AY piece in and then you rotate it and let it fall like this, okay? If it falls, the loop should be facing you like that. Loop facing you and the tip of the tail facing you like this, okay? Um, we re repeat with the Hanayama piece. So here you go. Loop of Hanayama, tail of Hanayama. Turn it upside down so it's tail to tail. Use the gap to slide it in, and then again, um, let it rest so that both tips of tails are pointing towards you, both loops are pointing towards you. We have now recreated uh, this position, which I hope looks pretty familiar to you, okay? And now we have to cross the tails of the AY and the Hanayama. Just like we uncrossed it, we don't have to cross it. So uh, remember that the original position was that the AY tail was underneath the Hanayama tail, and so we're gonna to wanna to do that. So what you do is you take the tip of the AY tail, and you put it through this gap right here, and you put the knob underneath again. Uh, it takes a little bit of jiggling, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, and now that the knob here is underneath the Hanayama tail, uh, and the tail of the AY is also underneath. You just basically rotate it over, and now all of a sudden, you can see that the, the tail of AY and the tail of Hanayama are now crossed again, okay? And please remember that the way you're doing it, you're slipping the tail underneath Hanayama here and then curving around the outside. So it looks like this. So it looks like the AY is coming like that, and the Hanayama is going like this, okay? So this is, the tail now all entangled again. And of course, both tails while entangling each other or crossing each other is also, uh, of course, hanging off of the tail of the vortex. So if you remember, the next step is that we had uh, disentangled the AY piece uh, from the Hanayama loop. So we now need to replace the AY piece into the Hanayama loop. So the first order of business, obviously, is to find the Hanayama loop. If you've been paying attention, you will know that this, in fact, is the Hanayama loop and you want to rotate it so that you can actually see the name Hanayama. So here we go, Hanayama loop, there's Hanayama. Now if you rotate it this way, you may begin to lose sight or lose track of what is what. So let me ask you, uh, what is this piece? Is this the vortex or is this the AY? Okay, if you guessed that it's vortex, you will be wrong. It's actually the AY piece. So the vortex is the one that's actually just kind of hanging here, hanging out, okay? So in order for you to put this AY piece into the loop of Hanayama, remember we have to use the ridge on the tail. And where is the tail? The tail is all the way over here. So this ridge has to come over here. So what do we do? You obviously rotate it, and you're rotating it through the loop of vortex until you are here. So hopefully you can see that this is the groove at the end of the AY tail and we're going to take that groove and then we're going to use that groove to slip into the loop of Hanayama. Okay, just like that. Once you are in position, of course, remember that to get into this position we had to rotate clockwise the entire AY piece until this uh, groove was in position. So since we had to rotate it 
uh, clockwise. Now we're gonna rotate it counterclockwise to move the, um, the tip of that AY tail all the way over here, okay? You can see that we have a knob here and a knob here that has to go through the loop of Hanayama. And it all has to be done where the vortex loop is not going to jam. So as you can see, I already forced this knob through by jiggling. And we're gonna just keep on rotating. And now this knob is going to go through the loop of Hanayama, which is gonna do in a little bit. Hey, come on, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So now that knob is through. And we're gonna keep on rotating until the very uh, tip of the loop is now essentially against the loop of Hanayama. And this was a condition that we saw when we were trying to disassemble the two loops of Hanayama and AY together, okay? So now you can see that we have rotated the AY piece. This is the AY piece until we have the loop now inside the loop of Hanayama. And what's next? If you recall, we now must put the vortex tail in the AY loop. This is tricky because again, there's already a Hanayama tail. I mean, I'm sorry, there is already a Hanayama loop, the end of the loop in the, sorry, I keep shaking the camera. There's already a Hanayama loop in the loop of AY. And so there's not a lot of real estate in there and you still have to somehow uh, get the vortex. This is the vortex, but we have to get the vortex tail using that groove right here, using this groove, we gotta get it in this circle, in this loop. So um, how are we gonna do this? Well, recall that we're, we're seeing Hanayama here, so this is a little bit rotated. So again, we're gonna reverse the steps. You know, We're going to now twist so that the Hanayama is at the bottom. And now we have actually the tail of AY in our hand right here, and then we have the vortex piece right here with its tail, and we're about to rock and roll to try to get this loop this, I mean, so we're trying to get this tail of the vortex, not loop, this tail of the vortex into the loop of AY, okay? So uh, recall that after we had removed the tail of the vortex out of the loop of AY, Hanayam was here, and then we had rotated it this way to begin to work on getting rid of the AY um, piece from Hanayama loop. So now we're just going backwards once we've achieved the original position of AY by rotating it. Now counterclockwise, we're just going to turn so the Hanayama's here, and we can turn all of our lovely attention to um, this little loop right here, which is the AY loop, and getting this vortex tail into this loop while having this annoying Hanayama piece in the way. So just remember, like last time, um, I was telling you how I was rotating the Hanayama piece clockwise and counterclockwise to create space I'm going to be doing the same thing here. So trying to keep the vortex piece somewhat loose and also keeping your eye on this ridge. You are now going to try to rotate the Hanayama piece counterclockwise, ah, just like that. That's gonna create the space now for you to be able, it should create the space for you to be able to now slip the tail of the vortex in. As you can see, I achieved that reasonably quickly. Now you can see that the tail of the vortex piece is in the AY loop, right next to the tip of the loop of Hanayama. We're in, okay? Once you're in, you can rotate it again clockwise to seal that off so it doesn't accidentally fall out again. And I know it's uh, hard to believe, but we're almost finished assembling the puzzle. So at this point, everything looks like a big tangled mess. Um, and so in order for you to finish things off, you need to find the vortex again. Hopefully you remember that this is the vortex. We just put the tail into the loop of AY. So if I turn around, you can see that this is indeed the vortex. And if you remember the last step is we have to put the tail of Hanayama into the loop of vortex. So you need to flip the puzzle around so that you can see the vortex here and you can see the loop of vortex. I hope you remember that this is actually the Hanayama tail. If you need to check, turn around and take a look. As you can see, Hanayama is clearly printed here. So now you actually have this Hanayama and that Hanayama has to go into this loop. 
and it's a little bit tricky to do it. You can't just shove it in, it's not gonna work. It has to be at a very specific orientation. So you have to actually rotate um, the Hanayama over a little bit, you wriggle, and then you can see that this actually falls right into the loop. The knob of Hanayama has to be actually all the way over in this area so that the main body of the tail will slide right into the loop. All that's left is the knob on our A, Y piece. This knob has to be pushed underneath the arch of the Hanayama body. It's down here, right? Down here is no good. We want to go up top. And then if you go up top here, it still looks like a catastrophe, but you are in fact done. Because in this original position, if you just relax things, you will have everything fall into its natural position, perfectly symmetrical. And if you turn it around, you have recreated the vortex. So that took 40 minutes. I really took my time. I hope that that was helpful and you can review all the steps and it's very, very clear what you have to do. The main challenge of this puzzle is that every single piece looks identical, even though they're not, and they're all the same color and we're just twisting from one to the other, you can sort of get lost where is where. That's what's critical that you use the engraved piece, Vortex, AY, and Hanayama to orient yourself throughout. And again, to do the, to do the puzzle assemble and disassemble the most efficiently, you have to constantly change from here to here to here to here. You have to grab the different pieces and hold them in a certain orientation. That's how you know uh, how to get things done. So I hope that was uh, useful. And uh, until next time, do take care.